Hello, everyone. My name is Enric. Um, I'm usually the one behind the camera, but today we're here at Marcelin College um, because Soul Receiver Creatives are preparing, making the final preparations for their 10 year anniversary show called Manamir, opening next Thursday at Q Theatre on Queen Street. So, we want to go ahead inside. They're on break right now. Give you a little tour of the space, and um, we'll go from there. So, I'm part of the ensemble. Um, my character doesn't have a name, but without the ensemble, you don't have a full story, you know what I mean? Because like they say, there's no such thing as a small part. Um, but hopefully next show that you guys come to, I'll have a bigger part. <laughs> I've not always been a dancer, but I've always had a passion for storytelling. Um, and it's different forms, it's why I do the work that I do with, you know, the Coconut TV. Um, but I've missed being on stage, it's been a good couple of years since I've done anything creatively. And um, yeah, being here with the team, being here with Troy, Italia, Licky, Bob, and, and Ida has been great. I don't know if you caught some of that last scene, but that was a pretty intense stare down. I've never looked another man in the eyes for that long before. I hope not to do it again, but the show must go on. Right now we're in the middle of Manamir rehearsals happening at the moment. It's our last big rehearsal before we get into the theatre tomorrow, we're packing in so all our runs are happening and we're just about to have a full run and it's exciting times here with Soul Receiver, it's our 10 year show so we are trying to go as big as we can. It's a full circle moment for us as creatives, seeing everyone from helping out behind the scenes, all the girlfriends and the wives and the, and the partners uh, to all the different people that meet here create their own groups, uh, you know, relationships happen here, partnerships, friendships that they take on to the future. Um, and it's cool that, it's cool to know that we played a little part in that. And it's a humbling moment for all of us as uh, Soul Receiver creatives. So we're going to use today this one, this uh, standard group. Uh, this is really for you guys as well, man, to figure out your views. So we're right in the middle of a staggered run through. We go down, figure out where to go, where to step off, where to go change. Good workout, man. Good workout. Bit of a time drop now. Uh, we are here at Q Theatre already. We are D minus one on our first performance. Um, our preview night is tomorrow for you know close family and friends. But there's so much that has you know gone into this show, not just the performers and the directors, but you've also got the wardrobe team, the lighting team, and the, and the tech team here. So eight weeks total now of hard work and preparation finally paying off. This right here is probably my favorite three minute segment of the whole show. Um, it's the Lovers Duet. Um, so every production that Soul Receiver creatives do, they always try to have a Lovers Duet within the piece. And um, this is the piece here for Manamir. How's it feel being lead actress? Um, I know that you've been with Soul Receiver for a while now, but this is your first time in the lead role. Um, what's the prep been like for this show? Um, honestly, just like revising the story, um, going over your character, what your character wants intentions wise. Um, but yeah, I feel honoured to be honest because I've known these guys for a really long time and I'm just happy that I could be a part of the work. So that's us here at Q Theatre, we are Soul Receiver Creatives, Ensemble, Creatives, Cast, the whole shebang that was your ticket tour of the backstage preparations to the 10-year anniversary show Manamir. If you have your tickets, we'll see you there. If you don't, Kakitiano.